Previously, I created a video that showed you all the prize cars in the original Gran Turismo and how to unlock them all. Now it's time to take a look on two demos, Gran Turismo Test Drive and Trial Version, to see how these cars look during the game's development. We start on the Test Drive disc with the Demi OA spec, which is the prize car from the Sunday Cup. The car originally had an orange strip across the windscreen and also had darker wheels. At this point in the game's development, it had no racing modification. Moving on to the later demo, GT Trial version, the Demio had its Mazda Speed logo added by now. However, its wheels were changed, but would be changed again before the game's full release, from six spoke rims to three spoke rims. Oddly, the racing modified Demio is the same model that would become the unmodified normal Demio A spec on the final game, complete with its three spoke rims. Moving on to the Camaro Z28 30th anniversary. This car is awarded for completion of the Clubman Cup. It doesn't exist on the test drive disc, but appears on the later trial version. However, its normal model was unchanged between this demo and the final build. However, its racing modification on the trial version was almost like a placeholder, rather than an actual model with hours of work put into its design. It's the same exact model as the unmodified Camaro, except its body is silver rather than white. The Toyota Chaser LM Edition is the prize car for the Gran Turismo Cup. On GT trial version, the car is just a placeholder. It's the same model as the racing modified standard Toyota Chaser. The car's name was also a placeholder too. Moving on to the first colour scheme of the Toyota Celica that's awarded for completing the FF Challenge, one of two prize cars in fact, with the other one being the Honda CRX. The green colour scheme goes largely unchanged between the trial version and the final game. Like the green Celica before it, the purple model has one key difference, the colour and style of the car's rims. They're much more normal looking on the demo build, rather than the sportier white rims that were given to the car on the final game. The yellow Celica exhibits the same beta features as the other two colour schemes, just that it had different wheels. The upgrade to the white rims was probably to make it look a bit more like a prize car, in addition to its non-standard colour schemes. The Celica SS2's racing modifications present on the trial version had the same beta wheels that the standard model had applied to it. These would be changed to far superior gold wheels during the game's later developments. Along with many prize cars you'll see in this video, the Celica is not present on the earlier test drive disc. The standard Celica SS2 that you can buy from the Toyota dealership is present, however, just not this specially coloured prize car model. The Honda CRX is the other prize car that the player can potentially receive upon completing the FF challenge, and on the trial version, the first colour scheme is blue rather than purple, while the rims are more standard, like the Celicas. The second colour scheme was gold at this point in the game's development, and was also lacking the red rims that are handed to the car in the final version of the Gran Turismo. As you can see, the prize car would be changed from gold to yellow. The last normal colour scheme of this prize CRX is silver. Its final version counterpart is totally different, black with red wheels instead of a silver body with wheels to match. The actual rims themselves are different too, not just the colour. The racing modification for the CRX stays mainly the same between the trial and full version of the game. There is one difference, and it's on the strip above the windshield. The Honda logo changes from red on the trial version to black on the final game. The purple coloured racing modification for the CRX exhibited the same change as the previous colour. It had its Honda logo changed from red to black between the trial version and the final game. However, the Honda logos on the sides still remain red. The Nissan Silvia is one of two prize cars awarded for the completion of the FR Challenge. On the trial version demo disc, its model is much more standard than it is on the final game, with a two-turn colour scheme reminiscent of the standard Silvia, and standard rims to match as well. On the final game, it comes in three colours, maroon, green and yellow. Its wheels were also changed to something a bit less standard as well. The Silvia's racing modification is identical to that of the 1988 Silvia Ks in the final game. This is the Silvia Q's variant, however, which will go on to have a more muted set of racing modification colour schemes, which were black and blue. So, both of these racing modifications exist in the final game, but were only reserved for the slightly faster and more expensive Silvia Ks, rather than the standard Silvia Q's. Both the prize car and the standard model bought from the Nissan dealership. The Nissan Silate is the other car that can be awarded when the player completes the FR challenge. 
On the trial version here, all three of its standard colour schemes went unchanged between the later demo and the final build of Gran Turismo. However, the car did have one notable change. The car's name was originally written out with 80 using numbers rather than letters. On the final build, as you can see on the right hand side, the car's name was spelled fully with letters, rather than a mix of letters and numbers. The car's name is also spelled with two words rather than one, although it's written as one word when it appears as your chosen car, at the bottom of the screen next to the My Car text. I guess this was just an oversight by the developers. The Cell 80's racing modification is where it gets interesting. The first colour scheme is plain white with a Nismo logo above the windscreen. This Nismo logo was retained on the final version of the game, but its colours were reversed. The second colour scheme is plain silver, with the same Nismo logo as well. Again, it's just a blue logo on a white background, while the finished racing modification for the Cell 80 has a white Nismo logo on a blue background. Let's move on to the four-wheel drive challenge. The first of two prize cars awarded for placing first in this championship is the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 4. The purple colour scheme remains the same, but its rims are the same as on the standard Evo 4. The green and yellow colour schemes are the same also, and of course they have the same grey wheels here on the trial version of Gran Turismo. The rims were replaced with much more interesting 5-spoke gold wheels before the final build was released. Like some of the other cars we've seen before the Lancer, the wheels were likely changed from standard to something more sporty, to make these cars a bit more of, well, a prize. Special colours and wheels you don't get on the standard models. The car's racing modification get those same standard rims as well. On the final game, its wheels remained gold, but were changed from a 5-spoke design to an 8-spoke design. Other than the wheels, the model seems unchanged. The second colour scheme is purple both on the trial version demo and the final game. As with many other prize cars, the prize car Lancer Evo 4 is missing from the earlier test drive disc. The standard car does exist, however. The second car that can be rewarded to the player for completing the four-wheel drive challenge is the Subaru Alkyone SVX S4. On the trial version, it only has one colour, silver. However, on the final game, it was given three new colours, purple, blue and white. And while many cars' wheels were changed, those on the SVX remained the same. Its racing modification comes in two colours, the first being white and green. Both of these racing modifications differ to the prize car SVX on the final build of the game, with its colour schemes being white and orange and white and purple. On the trial version demo, this car actually shares its colour schemes with the standard SVX 95, also known as the SVX version L. Its wheels differ to the same prize car on the full game too. White five-spoke rims were replaced with white three-spoke rims. Moving on to the prize cars awarded for completing the Lightweight Cup, the first of these is the Mazda MX-5, also known as the Unos Roadster. It's one of many prize cars not present on the earlier test drive disc, with its first appearance being on the trial version. It has three colours, yellow, bronze and purple. These models actually exhibit no differences between the trial version demo disc and the full game. However, its racing modification went through significant changes, as you'll see soon. The MX-5 even has the same standard wheels here across all three unmodified models. Most prize cars would have their wheels changed to sportier rims during the game's later developments. However, the prize car MX-5 wasn't lucky enough to receive this upgrade. The car's racing modification was completely changed between the trial version and the final release of the game. It was white and red with Castrol logos on the sides. This racing modification was actually shared by all the Master MX-5s on the trial version. The other car the player can potentially be awarded with for completing the Lightweight Cup is the Honda Civic Type R. The first of its colour schemes is yellow with a black bonnet, imitating the Spoon Civic that would appear on later games. The second colour scheme is blue and remains largely the same between the trial version and the full game. However, the wheels were changed from white to black, with black wheels being a closer match to the ones that appear on the actual Spoon Civics. The third and final colour scheme of the prize car Civic Type R is pink, which again didn't change between the demo and the full game. However, like the other two colours, its wheels were white instead of black. The car's racing modifications exhibited multiple differences. It's silver and turquoise rather than silver and blue, and the Honda logo above the windshield alternates colours. The wheels are white rather than gold, and there are additional Primo sponsors on the side and back. 
The second colour scheme was also heavily changed in the final game. In fact, the car's final models were a lot more closely matched to the standard Civic Type R, which is available from the Honda dealership, which I think is a bit of a shame. The FTO LM Edition is awarded for finishing first in the US Japan Sports Car Championship. It existed on the test drive disc and looked pretty similar to its final version counterpart. It was also available in its alternate green colour scheme. The main difference is the wheels, which change from black to gold, and also in a strip above the windscreen, which would go on to have a Mitsubishi logo added, rather than being left in plain red. Unsurprisingly, the car also featured on Gran Turismo Trial version, where it more closely resembled the final FTO LM edition. The Mitsubishi logo had now been added above the windshield, and the wheels had been changed once again. The wheels were changed to a simple grey design, which is also shared by the Chaser LM Edition on this demo. So the car would have its rims altered not once, but twice between the start of the game's development and the end. The other prize car for completing the US Japan Sports Car Championship is the Dodge Viper GTSR, which in my opinion is perhaps the best car in the game. The car made its debut on Gran Turismo Trial version and went unchanged on the final game. However, one small difference is the styling of the car's logo. On the trial version, the GTSR part of the logo was blue, and was changed to white on the final release of the game. Personally, I preferred it in blue. Next up is the first prize car awarded from the UK Japan Sports Car Championship, which is the Honda CRX Del Sol LM Edition. The car did exist to a degree on the test drive disc, but the model was just a placeholder, a plain silver CRX. However, the CRX LM Edition model did exist on the test drive disc. It was actually the racing modification for the standard CRX Del Sol model, before it was given to the LM Edition. It had a few differences, mainly the wheels and the strip above the windshield. Fast forward to the car's appearance on Gran Turismo Trial version, and the black colour scheme has finally made an appearance. In fact, it is now very close to the final version of the CRX LM Edition, now the Mugen logo has been added above the windscreen. The red colour scheme is of course present as well, since it was already in the earlier demo. The Mugen logo has replaced the old blue strip here too. The wheels have been changed, but would subsequently be changed again on the final game. The second potential prize car for the UK Japan Sports Car Championship is the TVR Cerbera LM Edition. Its first appearance was on the trial version demo and closely resembled its final version counterpart, with just a couple of key differences. The first is its wheels, which were originally black and would later be changed to white. Also, the car's name was just a placeholder. It was simply called the Cerbera, rather than the Cerbera LM Edition. Both colour schemes are present, too. Next is the Mazda RX-7A Spec LM Edition, which first appeared on the trial version demo disc. The green colour scheme is lighter than on the final game, and there's also a dark green box around the Mazda Speed logo on the hood. The purple colour scheme is also lighter, and has the same box on the bonnet. Also, the car's name was a placeholder at this point. It shared the same name as the standard RX-7A Spec, the Affini RX-7A Spec Touring Kit. During the game's development, the car also had a third colour scheme, which was pink. Interestingly, there are several cars on this demo that have a third racing modification colour scheme, though all the cars on the final game had a maximum of two. The second prize car for winning the UK US Sports Car Championship is the Dodge Concept Car. On the trial version demo, this car was very different. It was called the Copperhead for starters, which was the real life name of this concept car at one point. It has two colour schemes, yellow and black, while in the final version, the two schemes were yellow and purple. It has numerous other differences such as a larger rear spoiler, higher wing mirrors and decals on the side of the car. Moving on to the prize cars awarded for completing the Mega Speed Cup, the first of these is the Toyota Sora 2.5 GTT VVTi. The first colour scheme is a dark, reddy brown and remains similar between the trial version demo and the final game. The second colour scheme is yellow, and like in the previous model, it's almost the same as on the final version, aside from its wheels. Like other cars we've seen so far in this video, it has standard wheels, which were subsequently changed. The purple colour scheme has these wheels too, and they are in fact the same rims as the standard Toyota Sora has, which you can purchase from the Toyota dealership. The gold wheels, in my opinion, make the prize car a bit more special. 
On the final game, the style of the wheels remains the same between the unmodified Sora and the racing modified model. However, the colour has changed from gold to white and blue. The wheels on the beta racing modification are different to the standard Sora. Aside from the rims, the racing modification remains unchanged between the trial version demo and the final release of the game. It has two colours, red stripes and silver stripes, which is also shared by the standard Toyota Sora. The second prize car from the Mega Speed Cup is the Aston Martin DB7. The first colour scheme is white, which is the same as on the full game. The wheels again were changed during the course of the game's development, however. Interestingly, the wheels do exist on the final game, and they were given to the racing modified standard DB7 coupe bought from the Aston Martin dealership, so it's odd to see these rims on an unmodified DB7. The second prize car colour scheme is a similar reddy brown colour to the one we saw on the Toyota Sora just a minute ago. Again, the only key difference here is the rims between the car's appearances on the demo and final builds of Gran Turismo. Lastly, there's the purple colour scheme, which exhibits one change present in all the colours of the Price Car Aston Martin DB7, just the wheels. Interestingly, this is also the second colour that is also present on the Toyota Sora. The first racing modified model of the DB7 is the same silver colour scheme applied to both the standard DB7 Coupe and the soft top DB7 Volante, with both being available from the Aston Martin dealership. The second model is a classic British racing green. The rims here on the trial version are the same as on the unmodified DB7. On the final version, they were changed to red and silver, most probably to give this prize car DB7 a different look to the standard racing modified DB7. The Grand Valley 300km Endurance Race awards the player with the Castrol Supra GT, if the player wins the race. It comes in two colours, red, black and green, and black, red and blue. It's basically a palette swap of the standard Castrol Supra GT. Both colour schemes here are the same as on the final game, even the wheels are the same. This is one of few cars which didn't change at all between the trial version demo and the final build, at least as far as I can make out. The Special Stage Route 11 All Night Endurance Race 1 awards the player with the Nissan Silvia LM Edition. The Silvia was largely unchanged aside from the wheels once again. On the trial version they were black and were later changed to white. The green coloured model also exists in the trial version demo with the same beta wheels, however the car's other notable change was its name. It was originally called the Nissan Silvia GT and was later changed to the Silvia LM Edition. The Toyota Supra RZ is one of two cars that the player can potentially receive by achieving victory in the normal car world speed contest. The first available colour is bronze and the model remains unchanged between the trial version and the full game. The second available colour scheme is a pale blue. Like the bronze model, this prize car was identical on the trial version demo to how it appears in the final build of the game, even the wheels were the same. The last of the Supra's three colour schemes is purple, which incidentally is my favourite colour, and like many other prize cars that we've seen in this video, the prize car Supra RZ did not appear on the earlier demo, the test drive disc. The prize car version of the Supra RZ shares its racing modification models with the standard Supra RZ. The sole difference lies in the wheels, they're gold and silver rather than red, like you can see over on the right hand side. The second colour scheme, which is blue and white, both on the trial version and on the full game, also has the same difference. The wheels were likely changed to create a bigger difference between the standard Supra and the prize car version. The player can also potentially receive the Subaru Impreza Sedan WRX STI version 3 from the Normal Car World Speed Contest. The first colour scheme is a brownie orange as you can see here. Again, the car has different rims on the trial version. The blue model is also very similar to its final version counterpart, though again it has the same beta wheels that are present on other cars on the same demo. On the final version, they were changed to a much more interesting set of gold rims. The car also has a third colour, which is yellow. In fact, all the prize cars, other than the LM Editions, have three colour schemes. Of course, there are two colour schemes when it comes to racing modifications, however. The first of the Impreza's racing modifications is black and yellow, similar to how it appears on the final build. The two main differences are the wheels, which were originally much simpler, and the design on the roof of the car. The second model is blue and yellow, again similar to how it appears on the full game. Unsurprisingly, it exhibits the same differences as the black version does. It has different rims and the design on the roof hadn't been added to the car yet. 
If the player finishes first in the hard-tuned car speed contest, one of the cars they can be awarded with is the AE86 Toyota Sprinter Trueno GT Apex. As you will notice, the first colour scheme on the trial version was a light pink compared to a darker pink in the final game. The second colour on the demo version is green. As with the pink model before it, you'll also notice that it's just one solid colour rather than pink and black or white and black. These pink and green colours are actually the same ones used for its racing modifications. The last model is blue, and again it's hugely different to how the car appears on the final build. The shade of blue is lighter in colour, there's only one colour on the car rather than two, and the wheels are also a different style and colour. The unmodified models of the Sprinter Trueno exhibited big differences to their final version counterparts, so it's a bit of a shame to see that the racing modifications are quite similar. Only the wheels are different, grey compared to gold. As you can see, the shades of pink and green are the same ones here as used for the unmodified Sprinter Truenos. The wheels are different to the final build once again. Here, they're grey and would later be changed to gold during the game's development. The second possible reward from the hard-tuned car speed contest is the R32 Nissan Skyline GTR, and along with the Super RZ earned from the normal car world speed contest, it's probably one of the most finished prize cars on the trial version demo. The first colour is a deep purple, while the second colour scheme is yellow. You can see over on the right hand side that the car is pretty much identical to how it appears on the final game. This is also the case for the last colour, blue. Surprisingly, the wheels would go unchanged as well. Many cars that had these black rims on either of the demos would go on to have them upgraded in the final game. So much so that I actually thought these were placeholder rims, but apparently not. On the racing modified models, the rims are different to how the car appears on the final build. Here, the car shares the same wheels as with certain race cars, such as the Nissan Skyline GTR LM Edition and the Castrol Super GT. The second colour scheme is also akin to its final version counterpart, all except the wheels once more. On the final build, as you can see on the right hand side of the screen, the wheels were changed from white to gold. Next up is the one and only prize car awarded by finishing first in the All Night Endurance Race 2 which takes place on Special Stage Route 11. The prize car is the road version of the Nismo GTR LM, which goes unchanged between the trial and final versions of Gran Turismo. Its racing modification is where it gets interesting, however. The car didn't have its own racing modified model on the trial version demo. It actually shares its appearance with the other Nismo GTR LM, the one that appears at the Nissan dealership as the special model. The second colour of the car's racing modification is also the same as the other Nismo GTR LMs. On the final build, it was given its own racing modification in two unique colour schemes, white and blue and black and red. Finishing with the cars awarded from completing the licence tests with all golds, the first of these is the Dodge Concept Car, which was originally known as the Dodge Copperhead, both on the trial version demo and in real life for a short time. On the final build of the game, the car does not have a racing modification. However, on the demo, it did. The model is similar to the beta racing modification for the Copperhead LM Edition, but the colour schemes are white and silver. Again, the name Copperhead is emblazoned across the top of the windshield and also across the large rear spoiler that didn't make it into the final build, either on this car or the LM Edition variant. However, the rims do remain the same. The concept car is awarded for all B license golds, while a TRD 3000 GT is the prize car for all golds on the A license. On the trial version, it's a lighter silver colour than on the final game, though again the rims are unchanged. Its racing modified model is the same as the standard Super RZ which can be bought from the Toyota dealership. On the final build, the wheels were changed, still gold, but in a different style. This was likely done to create a difference between the two racing mods. The second colour scheme is the same as the standard Supras as well, complete with the white and gold rims. It's a shame that the TRD 3000 GT didn't get its own racing modification, just a mere wheel swap unfortunately. The last prize car on the game is the Nismo 400R, which is awarded to the player once they achieve all golds on the International A License tests. On the trial version of Gran Turismo, the car's model is almost just a placeholder. 
It shares a lot of the same characteristics as the standard R33 Skyline, including its range of colour schemes and its wheels. However, the 400R does seem to look wider, so it does seem to have at least its body kit from the final game. Its colour schemes on the trial version are red, blue, silver, purple, black, grey and white. On the final game it has fewer colours, and they are red, silver, grey and yellow. Also, on the final build of the game, the car has two racing modifications, a yellow and a grey model. On the trial version, these hadn't been implemented yet. Instead, the 400R's racing model was the same as the unmodified car, but with the same wheels as featured on cars such as the Nismo GTR LM and the Castrol Super GT. Well, thanks for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and a share. And let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks.